y'all and welcome back to my channel if you're new then welcome and if you're not new then thank you so much for clicking on today's video but for those of you who are new my name is faith and i post natural hair content nursing content and just lifestyle content on this channel so i know that you guys are going to enjoy today's content today and actually by the title you guys see that in today's video i'm going to be talking to you guys about my journey becoming a nursing student which is such an exciting topic for me especially considering like the journey that i did take to get into nursing school so if you guys would like to hear more then definitely keep on watching but before we do get into today's video definitely hit that subscribe button so you can join my channel and also hit that post notification button that's right next to the subscription button so you can get alerted every single time I post another video. And also don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up because I know you guys are going to enjoy it. But with that being said, let's get into today's video. Alright y'all, so by the time that you all see today's video, it is actually May 25th, 2022. And I officially finished my second semester of nursing school on April 22nd, 2022. But I'm actually going to give a recap of my semester 1 and my semester 2 of nursing school in a separate video. So I'm actually going to start talking about my nursing school journey and becoming a nursing school student. I'm actually going to take it way, way back to when I was like in elementary school almost. So when I was in elementary school, I kind of really knew then that I wanted to do something in healthcare because I remember playing doctor with my family. I had a little doctor's kit and um let me see I think I still have it. Alright y'all so I do actually still have it. Um I mainly kept this because like this is a sentimental moment for me becoming a nursing school student knowing that like in elementary school this is what I played with and this is what really got me um into just really wanting to do healthcare for a career. So I'm gonna open this. Y'all look at this. I used to use this on my family and on myself. Little doctor kit. Yeah, my little stethoscope. Y'all, I used to use these when I was younger. That's crazy. But anyway, as you all see that when I was younger, I used to play with that and um, I used to watch the baby story a lot on over my grandma's house. And at first I really wanted to become an OBGYN for the longest, but I think I kind of got into the mindset even way, way back then that I wanted to do more patient care. So that's why I wanted to try to go the nursing route within healthcare. Needless to say, that's when I kind of knew that I wanted to do something in healthcare and that I wanted to become a nurse. So that kind of flourished in me in elementary school. And in middle school, it continued to flourish. But I didn't really do as much. But like when I got to 6th, 7th, 8th grade, um, I made sure that I kept my grades up. I did have high grades and I, I was a really studious student. I was always getting certificates. I was always on the honor roll. So I really think that that also played a role in my school journey and just me to later become a successful student in college as well as in high school. But in high school, that's when I was really able to actually step into my passion of wanting to do healthcare. The high school that I went to allowed us to shadow um members of the healthcare team at a hospital and that was really nice i really enjoyed that i got to see the tower procedure and i also got to see open heart surgery and i got to shadow a nicu nurse and y'all that is that that time in high school i think i was like in 10th grade i want to say i really found my passion like wanting to do nursing and then um I have older grandparents I had older grandparents and so that kind of just motivated me too to want to just help people and just just try to make a difference in my community because I wasn't able to always care for my older grandparents growing up because I was a little younger and I wasn't really like in that serious mindset back then than I am now and how I was in middle in high school but um yeah so in high school i got to shadow i went to a hospital during the summer i had like a summer program 
and um, in ninth grade I actually volunteered I went to bring your child to work day at a hospital and that was very nice too that actually opened my eyes to want to learn more about healthcare and to really consider taking it seriously but needless to say at high school I was the valedictorian and I made sure I kept my grades because I knew that I always wanted to go the college route and I always knew that I wanted to be a nursing student all the way from when I was younger and the experience of being able to shadow the doctor shadow the nurse and just actually be in the hospital really gave me motivation to not joke around in school and to just make sure I keep my grades up and um, after I did graduate high school I went to community college because I felt like it would save me money and at the time I just I knew that at the time I was able to get the Detroit Promise Scholarship which was very helpful and it covered almost all it covered basically all of my um, community college education and I actually do have my associates in liberal arts so that is a blessing I'm happy to say that and um, while I was getting my associate's degree I was kind of in that transitional period from high school to college so like at first I did have to take a couple remediated classes just to like make sure that I'm caught up to actually take real college math the real college English and writing and so that kind of did push me back a little bit and then I was on my college's dance team, the full circle dance team. So that was fun. That was a nice experience because I also danced basically like since I was three, four at church. And then from, I want to say 10th grade to 12th grade, I danced at a studio. And All right, y'all. So when I did go to Henry Ford, I wanted to get into their nursing program. But unfortunately, I didn't pass their entrance exam. Alright y'all, so I'm now going to talk to you guys about the classes that I actually took while I was at Henry Ford and while I was at um, Oakland Community College. So, I got out of high school in 2016 and um, I was basically... It took me three years to get my associates. So I started in 2016 after I graduated and then I got my associates in 2019. I think it was like mm, November 2019. And so when I did go to Henry Ford, I took majority of all like the nursing prereqs because I was originally going to get accepted into their nursing program. But as I stated before, I didn't pass their entrance exam. While I was at Henry Ford, I did take a lot of classes. And if you see me looking down, I'm looking at my actual class schedule of the classes that I took while I was at Henry Ford. So I took English 132, which was college writing. I took Introduction to Statistics, which was a really hard class for me. I think I had to retake that class like twice. Music Appreciation. I actually really liked that class because when I was in middle school, I played the oboe. So I really enjoyed um, having like a music appreciation class in college. And when I was at Henry Ford, I took Principles of Chemistry, which is like a college uh, level one chemistry class. And then I took Fundamentals of Speaking. So it was like a public speaking class. And I actually enjoyed that class. I took Intro to Sociology. And when I was at Henry Ford, I also took um, College Writing and Research, which was Composition 2. And the previous writing class that I discussed earlier was a um, Composition 1 class. I took Intermediate Algebra when I was at Henry Ford. And I took Anatomy 1 as well as Anatomy 2. But the professor that I had when I took Anatomy 1 the first time, they just... They just were not a good professor and I believe that they it was their first semester teaching so that didn't make it any better for me. And then I took intro to, to psychology which is a really nice class because you actually need that for um, nursing school. When I was also at Henry Ford I took an art history class. I took a college success class which was like my remediation class as well as ALP writing and re and writing and uh, reading class 
so yeah i basically took those classes when i was at henry ford and those that took me three years because i had to retake classes and then i was also on the dance team so i was taking a few classes that i didn't really need because the classes were actually credits to help me graduate during the three years while i was at henry ford i did take one class at oakland community college which is like another community college but i actually took um human anatomy and physiology one i believe i took that yeah i took that fall 2021 so i took that class because my advisor wanted me to retake that class because it would look better on my transcript having a higher anatomy class because when you are applying for nursing school they look at the mainly the science class so they look at your anatomy and physiology your psychology as well as a writing class and philosophy but after i did complete all of my credits and i was able to graduate from henry ford with all my credit hours basically that were um, needed for an associate's degree i was able to graduate with my associates and then i went to Oakland University before I actually talk about Oakland University when I was at Henry Ford I took their entrance exam twice to get into their program but I didn't get accepted because I didn't pass the entrance exam and I think like I was short a, a um, score in reading or math it was one of the two but I left off with discussing with you guys how I did take the HESI exam which was the entrance exam to get into Henry Ford's nursing program and Henry Ford's nursing program is a two-year associate's program I believe it's two or three years I think maybe two because it's an associate but I didn't pass the test unfortunately and I took the test twice and I believe that I was short points in my reading section and my math section but that was like in 2019 so I'm not really 100% sure which sections that I didn't um, score well in but needless to say that wasn't the path that God wanted me to take so I'm blessed where he did take me now and with that being said I'm now going to talk about my Oakland University journey where I'm currently taking classes in 2022 and I have my current transcript pulled up so I'm going to read you guys all the classes that I currently took and that I am currently taking while while I am at Oakland University and y'all so in 2019 I graduated from Henry Ford and I got accepted into Oakland University for as a pre-nursing student and I was honestly at my wit's end almost not my wit's end but like when I went to Oakland University, I was motivated and I was determined to get into their nursing program. And I, like I said, started in the fall of 2019. So currently looking at my transcript from Oakland University where I'm currently attending in the fall 2019 semester, I took Biology 1. I took Perspectives on Latin America and I took Introduction to Ethics and I took those classes because I had to just have certain credits to actually get into the Oakland University's nursing program because that was actually a bachelor's program and the bachelor's program for Oakland University is three years and I actually needed to retake biology because I took it years ago and I needed to have a refresher especially going into the higher um, classes to get into the nursing program and I need to take ethics which was a class that was required for the nursing program and the Latin America was just a requirement I think it was like a general elective class that I needed to have in order to get my bachelor's degree and in the winter semester of 2020 I took intro or I took introduction to organic and biological chemistry I took the Bible as literature, introduction, lifespan, development, and I took intro science language. And so those classes were mainly all like, I don't want to say filler classes, but they were classes that you needed to take, like I said, to actually get your bachelor's degree. But the nursing program did look at my lifespan grade, which I got a B in, and they also looked at my introduction to organic chemistry. And that semester, however, I did have to withdraw the organic chemistry. But I did take it the following semester, fall 2020, 
and I got a B plus in organic chemistry so that was very exciting and I also took two other classes in the fall 2020 semester I took introduction to HRD and I got two A's in that class I got an A in philosophy and I got an A in my introduction to HRD so those were actually the classes that I took before um, you actually get like into the nursing program at Oakland University. But after taking all of those classes, I was finally eligible to apply to the nursing program at Oakland University during my winter, I believe it was winter 2020, when I finished all of my prerequisites and I was at my point where I didn't have any more classes to take until I actually got into the nursing program. So I actually submitted my nursing school application to get into Oakland University School of Nursing, March 4th, 2021. So y'all, that was like almost more than a year ago now. And I'm late recording this video, but I'm finally doing it, so that's all that matters. My testimony is actually very interesting because I did submit my application and I believe in June, I got an email saying, unfortunately, basically saying like, thank you for applying. Um, the program is rigorous, but you did not get accepted. But God really showed favor for me because y'all, July 4th, 2021, I got an email that said, greetings Faith, I would like to extend my congratulations regarding your admission to the BSN program. Your hard work paid off and you are entering one of the best nursing programs in the upper Midwest. So what happened was when I did apply, I was like three down from actually getting accepted initially and the fall semester of 2021 was like the biggest. Um, amount of people who actually do get accepted into the program because I think they accept 96 seats and a portion of those seats are for direct admission straight, straight out of high school so I was honestly really blessed that I was only three away from getting accepted anyway and three people did not accept their acceptance letter so that bumped me up to actually getting the opportunity to get accepted and y'all I am when I say I was crying and blessed at that point when I found out because I honestly told myself that if this is meant for me to get into the program at Oakland University I will get there and I was honestly not like mad or anything I tried to have a, a really good attitude because I knew that nursing was for me I knew that this was my passion and this was where I was meant to be and so I just I just let God fix it I gave my worries to God and he handled the rest because honestly faith without works is dead so I had faith that I could get into the program and I worked my butt off to make sure that I was putting my work in and God took over the rest so yeah y'all officially July 4th was when I found out that I got accepted into the nursing program and that I was going to be a nursing student ah! I'm gonna um, put a picture of <clears throat> my acceptance letter in this video so that you guys can see it but yeah yeah I was honestly so blessed but after I got the email saying that I got accepted I got continuous emails after that telling me everything that I needed to know giving me important information about the BSN orientation about registration if you guys want to know like more in depth on what to expect going into your first semester of nursing school before you actually start definitely put that in the comment section down below and i would love to do that video for you guys but yeah y'all so when i say i am blessed to get accepted i am blessed because i applied for henry ford's nursing program i didn't get accepted both times and then i got denied at first at oakland university but y'all i just want to shout scream whatever because nursing is honestly my passion so yeah y'all and um currently i am i just finished my first year of nursing school so i'm gonna be recording a semester one recap and semester two recap and i might also do like a how to um pass patho how to pass farm and how to pass microbiology because those were really hard classes that i took but thanks to god i was able to pass them effectively and yes so i'm just really excited and blessed that i got accepted and i got my um acceptance letter 
in my email yeah so that's kind of all that i wanted to share in this video i wanted to talk to you guys about my journey from when i was in elementary middle and high school as well as my college years at my community college and now currently where i am today as a second year nursing student well i will be a second year nursing student come september um, 2022 so i'm really excited about that and i can't wait to give you guys more content related to nursing and i actually am working on editing my week in the life of a nursing student previously when i just finished um when i finished my winter semester of 2022 so yeah y'all i am still like excited blessed about um what god did in my life but i also forgot to mention that when i do record my semester one and semester two recap i'm going to discuss all the classes that i took and how i studied and all of that so definitely look out for those videos if you are interested but y'all i cannot end this video without promoting my business if you see this hoodie, this is my business that I'm repping, Beauty Unleashed Collection. I will have the link to my website and my business's Instagram in the description box down below. And you can also click on that link to see my website and to see all of my products. I sell bangles, hairpins, scrunchies, and also fur headbands. Definitely check out my business if you haven't already. That is all that I have for today's video, you guys. If you enjoyed it, definitely give this video a huge thumbs up. But if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and you made it to the end of this video, definitely hit that subscribe button so you can join my channel. And also hit that post notification button that's right next to the subscription button so you can get alerted every single time I post another video. But yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day or night depending on when you watch this video. And I'll see you guys in my next one.